in this semester we are going to discuss complex analysis so it is starting with complex numbers you have already studied complex numbers in 11 standard let us revise all these things and after that we will go further in this video we are going to simply revise few basic 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 things okay so complex numbers so you know that if you have any positive number you can easily find its square root for example if you have 9 you can easily find root 9 plus minus 3 getting if you have 4 square root of 4 is plus minus 2 but if you have any negative number getting so it is difficult to find its square root okay so with the help of complex number you can easily find its square root so you can write in this way this is square root of minus 1 into square root of 16 square root of minus 1 is i it's 4 so it is plus or minus 4 i so what is value of i i is equal to square root of minus 1 this is the origin of complex numbers okay basically complex numbers is a number z is equal to a plus ib a number which can be expressed in this form a plus ib basically a and b both of them are real numbers and i is an imaginary unit you can say its value is square root of minus 1 let us discuss one simple example z is equal to 2 plus 3i getting so 2 and 3 both of them are real numbers but if you express in this way 2 plus 3i it is a complex number so here a is called real part of z and b is called imaginary part of z so here in this example what is real part of z it is 2 and what is imaginary part of z it is 3 okay in some cases real part or imaginary part can be 0 for example if you have z is equal to 3 so in that case 3 is nothing but 3 plus 0 i so imaginary part is 0 so in that case we say it is a real number or if you have z is equal to 2i that means 0 plus 2i so in this example real part is 0 so we call it as a purely imaginary number okay so all these are basic things we are going to add more but i suggest you to make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us discuss these two points now equality of two complex numbers see when we say two complex numbers are equal see suppose z1 is equal to a plus ib and z2 is equal to x plus iy so suppose we have these two complex numbers we say these two complex number are equal if real part of z1 should be same as real part of z2 and imaginary part of z1 should be equal to imaginary part of z2 then only we can say z1 and z2 are equal okay let us go for the representation of a complex number on a complex plane i hope you are already familiar with that so that means suppose this is a complex plane okay so x-axis it is better to say real axis and this is y that means imaginary axis okay so if you have any complex number z is equal to a plus ib so a it's a real part it will be on real axis and b is imaginary part so it will be on imaginary axis getting so the uh, point will be here a plus ib so in this way we plot a point uh, on a complex plane let us discuss few examples suppose you have z is equal to 2 minus i okay so what is the real part 2 so suppose 1 is here 2 is here right and imaginary part is minus 1 multiple of i is minus 1 so imaginary part is minus 1 it will be here getting so see 2 comma minus 1 the point will be here that means 2 minus i that point will be here right second example suppose z is equal to 3 so z is equal to 3 that means 3 plus 0 i real part is 3 imaginary part is 0 right so real part is 3 it will be here imaginary part is 0 that means this point lies on a real axis right next is z is equal to 5i so z is equal to 5i that means 0 plus 5i real part is 0 imaginary part is 5 real part is 0 no need to write that plot a point on the real axis imaginary part it is 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so it will point will be here on a imaginary axis okay so in this way we plot points if you want you can make a screenshot of it after that i will give few examples to you now i am giving few exercise problems for you you have to plot those points on a complex plane the first point is z1 is equal to 3 minus 8 i am sure you can easily plot this point on a complex plane second is pi plus 7 i you know that pi is an irrational number having value 22 by 7 approximate as well as 3.142 you can take any value and you can plot that point next minus 3 plus root 
to i so that is also exercise problem and e i so you know, find out these values first and after that try to plot those points on a complex plane we will stop here thank you